Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. We just finished watching Triple R. That's right. We're still sitting in a really nice theater, actually. Nice seats here. Nick here. Gabe, the night watchman. And we are going to give you our full-fledged review pretty soon, a couple of days at the latest. But we want to give you our straight out of the theater reaction. I'm going to go ahead and start off. This, uh, this movie was epic. Knew it was going to be after following up Bahubali 1 and 2. S.S. Roger Mooley put himself on the map as a superstar. And I knew this movie was going to be great. It's absolutely fantastic. Are there parts that are over the top? Absolutely. It's supposed to be. <laughs> are there parts that's a, maybe a little too brutal, more brutal in blood than I thought it was going to be? Loved it. Absolutely. The acting is fantastic, especially from the Indian actors, especially Ram Sharan, NTR. Those guys are superstars. We get cameos from AJ and Alia, but it's NTR and it's Ram Sharan. It's their show. They are amazing. The guy that played Governor Scott, he was also really, really good. But this movie was absolutely amazing. Everything it was sold out, it was told us to be, and I, I absolutely loved it. What'd you think? Uh, for sure, definitely epic. Supposed to be over the top. Enjoyed that part of it. Um, I think that I think Alia was a little underused. You know, I, I thought she'd have a bigger role in the film. That's probably one of my critiques, and you'll hear that when you get my full thoughts. But other than that, AJ was a monster in this. And, but uh, final thoughts, Nick? It's it's absolutely great. You got to check it out if you haven't yet. You've got to. Tell your friends about it. This is an epic movie. SS did it again. This guy is an amazing filmmaker and absolutely loved it. The, the quality of the film, the music was phenomenal. It really added a certain notes and so many high octane, high octane action pieces. But those are our quick thoughts. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and we'll give you our spoiler review pretty soon. So I just made it to my car and we wrapped up our non-spoiler quick thoughts because there was workers trying to clean the theater when it was done. But... I've been thinking about it more and more, and I just love this movie. I don't want to give any spoilers here, but it's just, it's amazing how SS builds up each scene. You know, he builds it up and puts it together so nicely, so epically. He knows how to do the prep work beforehand as far as storytelling goes, as far as everything set piece wise. And then he gives you this amazing 25 minute action piece or scene that has a lot of heart and a lot of love behind it and passion and then it's just full-fledged and you just feel so drained and worn out after that scene and then he does it again and he builds it the next one he builds it the next one and there's about five or six of them throughout this movie it's it's such an experience you got to watch on the big screen you got to check it out we were able to watch it in a, in a souped up theater and it really enhanced everything but a lot of care a lot of tension everything was top-notch is it a perfect film? Absolutely not, but it is such a great fault to Bahu Bali 1 and 2. And definitely, once again, recommend you checking this out. But until next time, we know all things.